Hi, welcome back to lesson 11. I'm Tim Aubrey from DMAD Marine Mammals Research Association. Last lesson we looked at creating point data. This lesson we're going to look at creating line data and look at some of the things we can do with line data. Okay, all I've done so far is I've opened up lesson 10, which is where we left off in the last lesson. And you can see we've got our digitized points. You don't actually need that. It's just for a bit of reference. Um, all you do need is to add the Google satellite, which is from the XYZ tiles in the, Google, uh, in the browser. Uh, if you can't remember how to do that, we did it a couple of lessons ago. So I'm just going to go and add a new layer for the line layer. So I go to layer, add layer, sorry, layer, create layer, new shape file layer. And I'm going to go into file name. You can see I've already got a line shape file. So I'm just going to call this lines 11 because it's lesson 11. Under geometry type, we don't want point this time, so we're going to go to line. And I'm just going to add a couple of text fields as I showed you last lesson. The first is going to be type, because we're going to add several types of line, and we want that to be text data. So add to fields list. And then I'm going to also add width. And that's going to be added to our fields list as well. This time it's going to be decimal number. Uh, precision just means how many decimal points we want afterwards so I'm going to do that and click add to fields list again and then just click OK and you'll see that in our layers our lines data has popped up and the first thing we're going to want to do is go to our digitizing toolbar which is this one here if you can't find it just right click on any gray space and turn the digitizing toolbar on and I'm going to click toggle editing which illuminates a load more options including this one which is add line feature. So I'm just going to add a line feature. So I do that just by clicking. So I'm going to put it down the middle of this road. Uh, the road's quite straight so I'm just going to put a point there and a point there. And I'm just going to right click. I have to give it an ID so I'm going to call it 001. For type I'm just going to put road and then for width it looks relatively wide, so let's say it's, uh, I don't know, five meters wide, and I'm just going to hit OK. Um, and then I can do that again, so perhaps I'm interested in my pavement this time. So I'm just going to draw a couple of lines, left clicking each time, and then obviously we have to have more points when we go further away from straight bits, and the accuracy that you want. If you want more accuracy, you're going to have to add more points, basically. So when we're happy with my line, I'm just going to right click to finish the line. This time it's going to be 002. Type is going to be pavement, sidewalk if you're American. And the width for this is far narrower, so we're just going to say 2 again. And you can see this has popped up on my line. Um, I'm going to add one more because I don't want to bore you by adding laser of lines. So this is just going to be down the middle of this road. Um, and this road is a similar thickness. So when I right click to finish my line, 003, type road. And then width is going to be, let's call it 4.5. And I'm just going to pause the video quickly while I add a couple more lines. Okay, and you'll see that I've added a few more lines. Um, so I've did a bit more of the pavement or sidewalk uh, and I've drawn around the perimeter of the scrub and the grass. I've just done it very quickly just to sort of show you a point. Uh, so we just want to make sure we click toggle editing again. It'll prompt us whether we want to save. Just click save. And now if we double click on the line here, it'll bring up our properties and we'll go to symbology, which is this little paintbrush, and we can begin to edit some of our lines to make them different colors. Now, the first thing I want you to do is just go to categorized. We're going to go to value type. So click on type and then click classify. And same problem with the uh, lesson last time I've 
written some of them with a the lowercase and some of them with an the uppercase. So I've got two categories of road. So just be careful of that. And we can change some of these colors to make them a bit more representative. So grass, we can do green. Um, let's do our pavement, sidewalk in gray. Um, and we can click OK. Road, let's do as black. Same with this one. And scroll, I'm just going to do as sort of a brownie color. Actually, you know what? We'll just do it as a dark green. Okay, so I can click apply, and you'll see that all of these lines change. So our grass is in the green perimeter, we've got our roads in black, our pavements in grey, um, and our perimeter of scrub in a dark green colour. The other thing we can do is we can change this to graduated, and this time we're going to use the value of width, and we're under method we're going to go to size, and we only have three real different sizes, so we can go to equal count quantile and change the class size to three. Click classify, okay, it's done it for us. So this means we've got our pavement or sidewalk at one, and then we've got our, so I'm just gonna change this slightly because some of our sidewalks were one, so I'm gonna change this to 0 0.9, so it won't display those. Then we've got our sidewalks from 1 to 2, so that would have worked anyway. Excellent. And then our roads, which are going to be bigger than 2 metres to 5 metres, are going to have a different thickness. Okay, so we can apply that, and you'll see that our thicknesses are a little bit out because they're a bit narrow. So let's just up this to, uh, say, 5. Okay, and that's far more representative, and we can change these are our boundaries so we can change these to green so these are the perimeters of our grass and scrubland uh, these are our pavements or sidewalks which we can make grey in colour okay and then we can make our roads which are much thicker a black colour so under colour I'm going to click black okay click apply as always and then click okay um, and you can see it's added our line data to our, so we've got our greens here, our greys here, and we've got our black roads. So it's added our line data to our drawing, and uh, if we're to remove our Google Satellite, it gives us a bit of inf information about what we've got in the area. Uh, very importantly, I wouldn't actually do it in this way, it's just to show you how you can add line data to your drawing. Uh, generally but you're probably always going to use polygons for area. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in one of the next lessons. Okay, thanks. Bye.